Hello, I'm Tyler. Hello, Antalya. Hello, Antilanders and those who want to be Antilanders. This is Vas again. Welcome to this channel. It's my channel. And this is about life in Antalya, about expats in Antalya, and common things which we face in Antalya and in Turkey in general, because many things which we discuss on this channel will apply to any other Turkish city if you are a foreigner. Sometimes maybe not even for foreigners, maybe for locals also. Today we're going to talk about the size of the deposit if you are purchasing the real estate. It will be very important and I will talk about it later, so continue watching. And before we get there, there are a few other things. First of all, I am thinking about that we will have another get-together this Saturday in Konyalti. And it will be uh, right around Liman area, Matryoshka Park. I will post a little bit of update tomorrow or day after tomorrow, but plan it on Saturday. Unfortunately, I cannot do any earlier. There are a few things which uh, require my attention and I have to pay attention to those things. One thing which I want to remind everybody, and that will apply absolutely to everyone. I don't like preaching, but there are certain things which we all need to be reminded because we get involved in routine daily things and we forget about things which are much bigger than us and even the immediate world around us. Three things which every one of us, and I'm doing it every day whenever I can, three things which we need to remind ourselves. One is that we are all blessed. Two, that we are all loved, all loved. And three, that we are all happy, no matter what we want. Because if you watch one old movie, there is no business like show business. And there is a song sung by Marlene Monroe, which says, once you get what you want, you don't want it. And that is a fact of life. Because what we want is, in most cases, that's not what we need. And in most cases, if we get something, it's not necessarily exactly what we want because we often don't want and our focus is very broad. If we had a more narrow focus, we would probably find the solution. When we say that we are blessed, what we're really saying is that we are connected to the creation and the creator. And I intentionally use word creator because there is something which creates us all and creates this world. And when we say we are blessed, the fact that we are here, the fact that you are facing and seeing me on the screen and the fact that I'm in front of the screen is that I'm connected to this world. I'm connected to the Creator because if I was not, I wouldn't be here to begin with, right? The second thing is we are all loved. The fact that we are all alive, we're actually here and we're facing each other, we are loved in some way. In most cases, we are a lot more loved than we think. And if we think that we are missing something, if we're lacking something, it's not necessarily love that we're lacking. It is probably some kind of form of expression from the outside world. And it really has nothing to do with our happiness because we are all really happy and we can be happy. And if you are not happy, then you're probably taking joy out of misery. So said that, just a reminder for everyone that we are here, not necessarily for a reason, but we are here happy, we are connected to creation and creator, and we are all love. Speaking of a deposit and real estate, the real estate prices continue climbing. It is crazy, I know, I don't think I would ever seen something like this anywhere, but prices are crazy. And what's happening is because they're going up so high and fast, sometimes the seller would refuse to sell. They actually change their mind. And it is very important for you to know that and know in front how to counter that. Or at least get some kind of a, a reimbursement satisfaction if somebody decides to exit the contract. Right? The prices everywhere, in Murat Pasha, in Kipes, in Hurma, in Sarisu, everywhere they're going up. Because price of one plus one now 
in Hurma is one twenty, one hundred and twenty thousand dollars and sometimes euro. And if you notice that dollar is getting stronger and coming close to parity of euro, so soon it is entirely possible that they will become equal and they probably after that they swing back and forth. But in general, you are getting much closer to parity. And uh, if you are buying large real estate, many people say, oh, I'm going to give little deposit because I want to look around and if I don't find something, then I'll come back because my deposit secures this particular contract, this particular uh, property, this particular purchase. And that is a self-deception because if your deposit is lower, it is normal Turkish practice. It is custom tradition that if the seller refuses to sell he pays twice the deposit and that is important if you give lower deposit you're gonna get low return double and uh, if the prices keep on climbing really fast what could happen is you give a deposit and the deal may be delayed Perhaps the owner is outside of Antalya and they have to come here because they don't have any way of giving a power of attorney to anybody to process the set. Or maybe there are some other document uh, issues which arise, whatever they are, not necessarily power of attorney, but the deal is delayed. And within a week or two, the owner observes that there are other properties around his property which going up because what happened is a real story i'm going to tell you the person was going to buy a newly constructed apartment in murat pasha and the seller the builder was offering it at the price one hundred one million and fifty thousand lira and then and the buyer had some things which he needed to arrange so he gave a little deposit and very close to that property another property was erected and it was about getting to be ready to start selling apartments and within that period after giving the deposit that property came on sale so other apartments were offered so those apartments which are comparable size and a very close location were offered at 1,300,000 lira, which is a substantial amount. Uh, so the seller, the builder said, you know what, I'm going to refuse this deal. And because that particular purchaser person gave low deposits, so the builder said, okay, you gave me whatever, 10,000 lira, here's 20,000 lira, forget it. Because 20,000 lira is one-tenth of what I can get for my new apartment. You follow what I'm saying? And that is important. If you see property which you like, if you really want it, you better secure it with a really good deposit. Such deposit that the seller would have a problem to give back. Because if he has to give you back 100,000 lira on the top of what you gave him, so that would really make him think whether he wants to do this or not. And that is solution the other thing which i wanted to share with you i just had one of the subscribers who sent me a whatsapp message and he received three months residency even though he already uh, secured the place to stay and uh, sign the contract the immigration gave him a residency only for three months after that he has to extend it and uh, there is a very good possibility that they may give him another three months but on the other hand they can give him one year if you want to be 100 percent certain that you get one year residency one of the ways perfectly legal perfectly acceptable uh, no issues whatsoever one of the ways of doing that is taking a course of turkish language in the accredited university or have accredited course which you're taking because if you pay for a course which is not accredited the immigration service may refuse your extension 
if you are doing it in a accredited establishment university there will be nearly 100 percent fact that you get your extension the other thing which you need to know if your child if you're old enough to have children and if your child is already in school enrolled then there is a good chance that you will receive one year extension uh, there is a law there is a uh, requirement that if your child already in, involved in school he needs to finish his school year so this is something for you to remember uh, if that is the case, you are safe and you will be just fine. So, one more time, we're going to get together this weekend, um, most likely in the morning. Uh, I'd like to keep my day open in the afternoon. I cannot spend a lot of time, but you guys can congregate uh, longer if you want and exchange messages. The other thing which you also invited to is to sign up for Telegram channel, which you will find in the description section of this video please sign up you will get some uh, information there because other people facing the same issues or nearly similar issues to the ones which you face and you can exchange information you can ask questions and maybe somebody can help you i'm trying to build this community for the benefit of all of us i'm Vas. welcome to my channel again subscribe to this channel leave some comments leave some likes and leave some questions for me so i can make another video all the best good luck